I don't suppose you want me doing any filming on your vehicles. Can I? So welcome back to the channel guys. We just come down this lane here and we found Lotus. I wonder what they do down here or is it just a dealership? Central Lotus, it says. A sales office, service and parts. Right, okay. And look at that up there, an open gap. That's unusual, isn't it? For such a pristine dealership, having some, such a, an open gap at the top like that. Oh, even that second level. So you've got ground floor, first floor, first floor's empty. And second floor is just, uh, well, I don't know. So what is there to see around here then? Looks like they've got some sort of merchandise inside. And the Lotus racing car there. And they've even got some sort of body shop. National Motorsport Academy. What is this place, mate? Sorry? What is this place? There's all sorts of units here, mate. Are you connected to Lotus here? Yeah, that's Lotus there. Oh, nothing to do with Lotus in there? No. Oh, got you. Is that their truck, though, at the back? Sorry? Is that their, their truck for racing at the back? Probably, yeah. Yeah, I just want to get a few shots of that. So there's multiple occupancy in this uh, yard. But they have got a Lotus Motorsport Academy transporter uh, down at the back. Motorsport.nda.ac, so it's involved in the university. Oh, De Montfort University, Leicester. All right, okay. Let's have a look around this one, eh? Down at the back. Let's have a look inside this place and see what Central Lotus is all about. Hi, okay. Yeah. Is this actually open to the public, is it? Yes, it is, yeah. All right. I didn't know if it was um, a showroom or some sort of racing arm. <coughs> oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. It just looks... Because you've got like the racing truck there that takes the vehicles to yeah, the... Yeah, 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 so um, Andy owns the business and his partner, um, he does a lot of races, so oh, that's right. why he, has, he actually owns a um, university course, the, the uh, Motorsport Academy, so he does that from here as well. Sometimes. Right, so he's a tutor, is he? Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. okay. Well, we have tutors, yeah. Yeah, he personally yeah. isn't now because he's 76, but right. he's, uh, he employs... It's called the National Motorsport Academy. Okay. Uh, but yeah, obviously we sell cars from here as well as obviously build race cars. So not only do you want the sales, but you're trying to give something back to to future yeah, generations. It is. Well, we've got a shortage of motorsport engineers. In the right. UK, and we're the best engineers when it comes to motorsport anyway. So um, yeah, our course has been running for about three or four years now. But it's an online course, so people can go to write a master's degree right on through aerodynamics. Brilliant. You know, hybrids, electric, petrol. Because I zoomed in on the vehicle, it's got De Montfort University, Leicester. That's right, yeah. That's where it's, the course is ran from, is yeah, it? Yeah, that's our partner. So De Montfort is the partner. Right. So I mean, any education has to go through, obviously, the, the, a system. We used to be Leicester uh, University, now it's De Montfort. Right, so okay. Tell him De Montfort, yeah. So it's backed by a proper university that can obviously... Because when we're giving out accreditations such as um, diplomas and degrees and masters and all that sort of stuff, it still has to be backed by a university, so they are backers. So when you says earlier that you're the best engineers, who's... No, I mean, UK. I mean, in the UK, we have the best motorsport engineers in the world. You know, I mean, most of the F1 teams are all based in the UK, so that's... Oh, measure. right, OK. So that gives you a measure of the engineering skill set that we have in the UK. But there is a shortage of good engineers, so, you know, hence, hence the, the course, really. I thought you was claiming Lotus have got the best engineers, uh, not just the UK. No, 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 no not Lotus. <laughs> no, Lotus is, is part of that. But yeah, yeah. The NDA, I mean, Lotus, we... Um, 
obviously we run a Lotus race car, we build Lotus race cars, and of course we sell Lotus cars. So. Right, okay. Yes. And as far as what I'm doing, I'm just an industrial estate YouTuber, so I just go around and anything right. unusual, yeah, I just yeah, do yeah. a little film, but I don't suppose you want me doing any filming on your vehicles. Can, away? Yeah, can what's, I? Yeah, what's, what's your details? So just know what to I'm do. just uh, called DJ Audits. You can have a key ring. Oh yeah, cool. It's got your details. I'm going to have a look at it. That's me, sure DJ Audits. DJ Audits, yeah, lovely. Just audit the industrial estates, have a look at good and bad things that are going on, but this is brilliant. Yeah, well, there's two entries to this. Obviously, we've got what is the industrial estate entrance at the back when all the lorries and trucks come through, so that's the waterside way, and it's all very industrial around there. And of course, this is a private road which we built because it's part of the, the development across the road. That's all part of this, this building. Right. Um, but as you could, so obviously, our customers for the dealership come through this way. Yeah. What else? Where, where else does it lead to then, down yes, there? If you go to the end of the road, it's a dead end, but you'll see a big, a big building there. It's called the River Crescent. Um, my business partner built that, that was on his lawn, because Rufford Hall, the National, Mot uh, National Motorsport Academy and the National Design Academy, they're two different academies, but right. part of the same umbrella, all run from Rufford Hall, which is the building there. Oh, brilliant. Okay. So this, I mean, that is a dead end, but you can sort of go down this road and you'll see a beautiful building that was built. Well, that was built on his lawn, essentially, but that's one of wow. the woods locally in Nottingham for um, apartments because they're all south facing and then the river. Right, okay. I'll so, take a shot of that on the way yeah, out then. Right, yeah, go, go Thank you. That and you'll see that, yeah. All right. And I've got a, um, a video here. Well, it's not on that one, so I might show you. But yeah, there's, um, I mean, if you just actually Google River Crescent, yeah, we'll do. Will come up. Yeah, I'll add it to the video. Thank you. Yeah, I'll just take a, a few shots for five minutes then and I'll yeah, get. Yeah, Thank you. you. <clears throat> That's my study, he runs it day to day. That's Connor Bradbury. If you need any information from like that, I mean, obviously, ask me if there's anything you need to know. Yeah, I'll put that on the video if that's all right. Do you want me to blur out the email or leave it on? You belong to me. Okay. Online, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> That's a secret. Very pleasant. So we, 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 One of the viewers may buy something, you never know. <laughs> yeah, well we, we sell that, we've been doing Lotus, Lotus for eight years. But of course it's been inside the building, but only um, in 2021. We opened this side up, so we've placed fronts, and there's two tiers, obviously you've seen the one upstairs as well. Yeah, I noticed you've got an opening on, on <coughs> level two. Yeah, well that's going to be storage, so we right. can store stuff in the fort lift. It fort lift in, yeah. yeah. Um, there's a sliding door at the end, we've got a ramp going in, so it's not completed yet. When the ramp goes in, we'll be able to drive cars up into this show upstairs. Really? So this is, um, I mean the show upstairs is bigger than this one, because it's obviously much bigger than the building. Yeah, I noticed the first level is empty at the moment, but where's the ramp going to be then? At the end here, it'll go down that wall. So it'll be a feature ramp, because obviously we'll have a show underneath the ramp as well, which we've got a nice F1 car to go in there. Right. So it's developing all the time. Right. Well, a lot of these car dealerships you see in the high, high streets, they're moving out the high streets because, you know, pedestrianised, trams, yeah. parking, yeah. you know, just too busy. So we've set up here because it's nice and easy to get to, plenty of parking, we're only just literally a mile from the city centre. Yeah, yeah. Um, but when people come to look at Lotus cars or any of this high performance stuff we're selling, they're coming for a reason, they're not just generally driving past the world by one of those. Yeah. Places. They put the postcode in and come here specifically for this place. Yeah, so yeah. this is called Central Lotus, um, but we're Central Lotus performance cars, so it's not just new Lotus cars that we sell. We've got old second-hand Lotus and, of course, other high-performance stuff. Right, OK. So uh, we're going to be 10 years now. So are these ones new, are they? Uh, these aren't new. No, these are all used cars, these are. <laughs> they look new? Yeah. yeah. That's well, how good. They're, they're all very recent, two, yeah. three years old. That's the year old. Yeah, so they're not very old, really. These all right. Cars, less okay. Than three. Yeah, I'll have a look. Thank you. Yeah. Porsche 911. 98.5. Lamborghini Huracan. 258. Nice colour. Ferrari California 3.8, 101.995. And a BMW X3 50.750. And down there, the Audi RS Q8, 119, 
995. Look at the interior, wow. the gear stick mechanism down there. This is a part of the National Motorsport Academy, De Montfort University. A degree module guide. It tells you about the first year, the second year, all the different modules there. some merchandise at the end. A nice little jacket. Well, makes a difference, doesn't it? Being allowed. Let's have a look around. Very nice. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, it makes a nice change when somebody doesn't object. Well, I'm just looking at the videos. There's a few that actually found about you going on site and the rest of it, but uh... it's very entertaining. Whether they, if they object, it's uh, entertaining. If they allow, nothing to hide. I mean, obviously, if you want to sort of whatever you put on there. I mean, we're a nice bunch to do. Oh, this is this is not a good one. This is, <laughs> this is me. This is me being nosy. Uh, when and the police they're are kicking off, aren't they? I just thought because you've had one million views on that. I know, yeah. So Get quite a lot of views. Lot of views so, uh, but you wasn't aware of the view numbers and you still behave professional, so credit to you. Thank you so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Honestly, it means a lot. It's yeah. very refreshing. Yeah, yeah. The viewers are going to love you. <laughs> I'm sure a few of them will leave a positive mm. review because whether it's a Google review, Trustpilot, it all helps. Yeah, well, if there's any information you want to send, just let us know. Just drop us an email or whatever. But you're welcome. What's your name? DJ. Oh, I did DJ, yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Been a pleasure. What a nice change. Yeah. <laughs> so there we have it. Central Lotus. A normal Lotus dealership who run courses for a nearby university to try and get more engineers into the market. This is they're gonna have a, another showroom on this first level with a ramp coming down here. And the second floor is the storage. But what an amazing place and very welcoming people. So if you are in the market for a Lotus, definitely recommend this place. They deserve your custom. And he did mention that just down here, there is some sort of landmark, a lovely house to see. So we'll just have a quick look at that overlooking the lake. Not a bad place to live, eh? Not a bad place to live at all. So we'll make our way out. We'll hide that key ring and we'll bring this video to a close. So there's no point taking the drone over Central Lotus. It is only a small sales yard and office as we've just seen there. Um, if you do want to see this place from above, then I will put a link 
in the description to the Google Maps 360 degree shot from the nearby race course. And yeah, if you want any of their details, I will put the card on the screen right now. And I'll also show you the sign outside. And one last thing, as we always do, we've hit a DJ Audits key ring, which is just there. So if you are one of the first people to watch this video and you do want a DJ Audits key ring, help yourself. I put the heating there somewhere. From Central Lotus here in Colic. If you have enjoyed that video, do give it a thumbs up for me, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye for now.